yeah, that's pretty impressive how he left it in there. The creature next to me. I do want to thank uh, some individuals who have made tonight happen. I would like the, uh, all the Gala volunteers stand and give them all an applause. Thank you, Scout.
you know, I'm going to die in six months, and I care about you. To, to really change your life in a fundamental way. That's just an amazing thing. And so now, and I'm sure everyone who stood up earlier as a cancer survivor has seen this, every few weeks somebody comes to you and says, my wife, my husband, my son, my daughter, my father, my mother just found out they have cancer. They've got a good doctor, like the ones at this center, but I don't know what else to do. What else do I do? And that's where Linda and I and all the rest of you, you know, step up and, and share our experience and whether it's for a short time or a long time, and hopefully, you know, make a difference in some way. So I want to thank you very much, Linda and Rich, and I really appreciate this. Now I'd like to introduce our survivor of the year, Rosemary Evans. Rosemary, can you come to May 2004. At the time, she was a nurse at Shane's Hospital in Gainesville. After two bone marrow transplants using her own stem cells, she was in remission for two years. In 2007, the cancer returned, and she's currently under our care at Space Coast Cancer Center. Rosemary was instrumental in starting and supporting the myeloma support group at Space Coast Cancer Center. Rosemary is married, has two children, and four grandchildren. She's an inspiration to all that she needs, and she's never given up hope. Her sparkling smile and positive attitude is known by all of the staff and volunteers at the Space Coast Cancer Center. Ms. Hammond.